Yo, 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 guys. Yo, guys. It's Old Man Chief back again. I haven't done one of these transfer just in a while because, quite frankly, I've been... I can't be bothered covering United transfer news right now just simply because um, a lot of it is speculation and there's a lot of truth to it. But we, we have had some breaking news last night. It was actually DeMarco that broke it news first and Fabrizio Mano has sort of semi-confirmed what it said. But um, Eric Bates, AC Milan agreed. I mean, that's a, that's the subject matter that we're going to go into and I'll give my thoughts in a second. But Remember, guys, if you need to try to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification button. Play this nice Manchester United news and more. And check out my second channel, Red, Mar Red Marvel. Links in the description as well. I really appreciate it. Anyway, anyway, Eric Bay. Um, so, Fabrizio Mano said today, actually, that AC Milan are working to sign uh, a new centre back. Eric Bay, one names on the list. First, we just started for Manchester United player. Nothing advanced yet. Now, um, Di Marzio yesterday said that it was almost said that it's pretty much agreed, or that Eric Bay is close to um, close to it, um, and that he'd be happy to go. Um, this took me a bit by surprise. I'm not going to lie. Eric Bay is obviously in Afcon right now, um, and uh, he's obviously waving out the squad. Um, and to lose him in the in January. Um, I think for me, in my opinion, everyone knows for me that I, I like Eric Bay. A lot of people talk about his injury record, even though he hasn't been officially injured uh, since December 2020. Uh, since then, he's been available. So he's been available over the last, all of through 2021 and going into this bar, obviously, AFCON. Um, for me, he's our best centre-back. Um, Varane is... is um, Varane is, 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 I think, has got more experience but to be honest, from what I've seen from around this season, in my opinion, um, I don't necessarily think he's massively better than um, Bay in my and People are going to say, oh, he's not, he's not. The reason why I say that is two things. One, he also has injuries. And we and that period of time where, where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got battered and destroyed against Liverpool, against City, against Watford and so on, Varane wasn't playing. So for a lot of key games, Varane was out. And he, had to rely, and he had to rely on Maguire and Lindelof, who, as a centre-back pairing, are just not it. Maguire has just had a terrible season, in my opinion. Um, he also, people forget, he was injured as well. He's, he's been in and out of injury. I think he's had two injuries this season, where he's been out for one or two games. Um, and then even at the end of last season, he got injured leading up to the Europa League final. Um, Lindelof, I think, has, has been steady this season. I'll bet, like, um, he's still not great in the air. He's got a good ball playing centre back, so I do think it's good to have him. But he gets bullied, and he's not good in the air, which is what which is the difference between, for example, him and Bay, in my opinion. And Jones has been out completely injured for well two, three years now almost, and he now comes back in, and suddenly because Phil Jones has a decent performance against um, Wolves, a game that we still lost, and he somewhat did contribute to that goal, that goal being conceded. We're now fine. We're now okay. Jones can come in, it's fine, even though he he he's probably more injury prone than um uh, than Eric Bay, you know. So I really hope that this um doesn't go through, I'll be honest. I mean, I want Eric to play games and for I think for him, because at the end of the day, they gave him a new contract with a promise that he was gonna start more games. He hasn't when he's been available, you know. I think that we've got to be fair that I'm I'm sure Eric is 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 um his reason was the fact that he understands if he's um, injured and not in a team, that someone is going to be in the team over him. I think that is fair. But the reality is that over 2021, he's been available for the, was for the whole year and he was ba barely picked when he was available. And quite frankly, his performances when he's played have been far better, in my opinion, than, than uh, Maguire and Lindelof have. We were in a title race somewhat last season because of the partnership between him and, Mag and Maguire. You know, um, it's just keep it a stack, you know. So, but by all means, if people want to go, that's fine. Um, I just think as a United fan, I think that we're weaker, um, uh, well, just weaker as a result. That's just my personal opinion. I think we are weaker as, uh, as a result with without Bay. And if you're telling me that in the giant transfer window, that basically we're not going to be doing any business, even though the likes of Villa, who, who've obviously gone out to get Coutinho and now Luca Dean. Um, you know, people going and Arsenal even looking for a midfielder made it clear. 
we need a midfielder, but we're like, no, we'd rather just wait till, till, till the summer. We rather write off this season and sign a midfielder in the summer and also make our defence weaker. That makes no sense to me for Manchester United. It just makes zero sense. But this is the state of Manchester United Football Club right now. And it's why, to be honest, I really have no real... Um, um, I don't really know what, what there is to be optimistic about for the rest of the season, to be honest. Because we're not going to win the Champions League. We'll probably be knocked out by Atletico Madrid. I don't see us getting top four of the way that we're playing at this rate when we're being bossed by Villa, Newcastle and Norwich. So top four is out of the window. We're getting knocked out of the Champions League. I highly doubt winning the FA Cup either. So, you know, you just got to think of the only most exciting thing is going to be who's going to manage Manchester United next season. That's about it. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, you next, smash the notification button, latest Manchester United news. Check out the socials, obviously, below. As you can see, we are at We Are United on Facebook and Twitter, and Twitch and Instagram, Red Devil Studio. Have a nice day, everyone. And cheers.